is MOS surgery and who all need it? Now MOS surgery is a precise surgical technique used to treat skin cancer. Now during MOS surgery, thin layers of cancer containing skin are progressively removed and examined until only the cancer free tissue remains. It is also commonly known as the MOS micrographic surgery. Now most MOS patients have a common type of skin cancer like either a basal cell carcinoma or a squamous cell carcinoma. And MOS is usually recommended when the cancer is aggressive or large, appears in an area with little tissue beneath it or was previously treated and has returned. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I will be talking about the post-operative complications of MOS surgery. Tranexamic acid is only approved by the US Food and Drug Administration as an oral formulation for menorrhagia in women and as a short-term preventative measure for hemophilia. However, other formulations are available but used only for topical or subcutaneous uses. Now, the use of adjunctive topical tranexamic acid showed benefits in significantly reducing the post-operative bleeding with second intention healing or allowing the wounds to heal naturally without sutures following a MOS micrographic surgery. The findings suggest that topical tranexamic acid application is an inexpensive and easy topical preventive measure to consider adding to the wound care of granulation defects in the setting of MOS micrographic surgery. The study results were presented at the American College of MOS Surgery 2022 annual meeting where the patients were randomized to groups of 62 patients each to receive a normal saline soaked pads that were applied to the wound bed upon the completion of surgery or a tranexamic acid 25 mg per ml soaked pads to the wound bed upon completion of the surgery. In both the groups, a standard pressure dressing was placed on top of those pads. Most participants were men, out of which 45 were taking antiplatelet therapy and 20 were taking anticoagulants. And in all the cases, the patients were similarly randomized into the above mentioned groups. Now, all these patients were provided with instructions to apply pressure to their wounds. In follow-up interviews, six patients in the placebo group reported active bleeding from their wound within 48 hours, with one patient requiring an intervention while there was no reports of bleeding in the tranexamic acid group. Now, although topical tranexamic acid prevents the blood clots from breaking down and is commonly used in surgical settings, including a cardiothoracic, orthopedic, gynecological, oral and even traumatic surgery cases, showing no increased risk of thrombotic events. However, its use in dermatology is still relatively new. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.